Hello, teacher. How are you? Good evening for all. Good evening. Good evening. Hello, how are you today? Hi, hi. Hi, teacher. Fine, teacher. Excellent. Nice to see you. Vamos a ver. There are lots of things we have to do today. I was I was checking. I was checking uh, your messages and I saw you had problems, you said, with the with the exercise 3.5, right? So we're going to see because uh, that is an exercise. Well, we were discussing about punctuation yesterday yeah. that uh, we will see what happened, why you're having problems. Sí. Vamos a ver. Ya les comparto. No, no. And be ready to tell me present, right? Mm -hmm. My computer is slow today. It knows it's Friday. It must be Friday tomorrow. Yes. So it knows it's Friday. That's why it's so, so, so slow. Tell me, how was your day? Was it nice? Was it busy? Or you were a little bit relaxed today? <laughs> Being Friday. I am very busy. Yeah. Being Friday, I don't think you were so relaxed, right? That, uh-huh. I know Fridays are their big days. But, Carlita, but it was your day off, no? Yes, but uh, I have to do many things because I only have uh, this day for, for to do many things. For Black Friday. <laughs> no, because, for example, I have to do a doctor, maybe a... Sometimes, uh, I don't know how to say, physiotherapy. Okay, physiotherapy. And, mm -hmm. and I have many things with my daughter, with my mom. And everything on the day, uh, well, but you're free tomorrow, right? Yes, and tomorrow. You can continue with the yes. <laughs> Yeah. I rest my, more in my in San Miguel. <laughs> I believe you. I believe because you. when I you. finish the work, I I have one or two hours free for the class. Uh -huh. Yes. Yeah. Because and here no. <laughs> it brings you tired. And then doing all the things that you have to do in San Salvador. Yes. Tell them to move to San Miguel. And let... <laughs> <laughs> so your life becomes easier. Okay, Basha, checking attendance. Adolfo Rivas. Hi, teacher. Hi. Good evening, present. I will be listening only tonight. Mm. Why? Um, because uh, uh, I am in a family meeting. Oh, 
Yeah. Yo le dijo, espérate, le dije. But I, I, was look, I am looking for a corner Mariela. on field. Okay. Adriana Maria. Adriana Maria. Adriana Maria. No. No, here. Okay. Adriana Sofia. Present. I hear you very far, Sophie, far, far, far. Anali. Oh, that's why. Analicia. No here. Brenda Alexandra. Brenda. Hmm? No Brenda. Claudia Guadalupe. Claudia, Cruz Antonio, Cruz, 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 David. Present teacher. Okay. Teacher, eh, si me aparezco como doble porque ya casi salgo del trabajo y ya cuando llegue a la casa voy a aparecer como un usuario nada más. Yo creí que los estaban regalando al dos por uno. ¿Y de dónde? Pero no. Pues de cómo. Teacher, no. Ajá, ah, 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 Rose. Bueno, van a ese no. Mala, Rose. Mala, mala. mala. Pregúntele, teacher, pregúntele. Ya, ya va a ver. Va, por cualquier cosa, voy a ver en camino, oiga. Ok, perfecto. José Alberto. No hay yeah, José Alberto. Present teacher, present. Ok. Eh, José Alfredo. José Alfredo. José Arnoldo. Present. Ok. Carla Lorena. Present teacher. Ok. Mauricio Emilio. <coughs> Mauricio. Mauricio. ¿no? Nubia Guadalupe. Oh, Nubia Zulema. Sí, Nubia Guadalupe. Present, teacher. Vaya, if you have a daughter, Nubia, you have the name. Nubia Guadalupe. Eh, aquí les ayudamos con las listas de nombres. Pedro Luis. Present teacher. Saúl Edgardo. Saúl, Saúl. ¿No? Sul Mayanet. Present teacher. Víctor. Victor. Fernando. Present teacher. Rosy. Present teacher. Ok. Bueno. Vamos a ver si llegó Ana. No. No, 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 no. Ok. Bueno. Bueno, bueno. Let's begin then. Check. Um, I was, I was checking, right? Uh, your 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 messages since early that Anna had a question and then some others, but I'm going to give you the answers through the class, okay? Because I know uh, this is a, a a complex topic, and I cannot just give you the answer for the platform. If the idea is that you go and refresh your mind with uh, about what we were talking about yesterday. Pinky, what am I sharing? I'm supposed to. Bah, okay. And November 25th, about to finish the year. Well, the month of at least, right? Hey, how was your Black Friday? Busy. Hmm? 
Did you go shopping? Yes, teacher. Oh, I see. That's why you were very busy. <laughs> ah, I but... told it. Okay. What about the others? Did you go shopping, 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 shopping? I don't know what is that. <laughs> okay. Only selling, right? Not shopping for Albert. Yes, only selling. Hmm. You were making the money instead of spending the money. I see, I see. Okay. Oh, cuantos listeners tengo. ¿Quién es Edgar? Who is Edgar? Do you know? Teacher Saúl Edgardo, no. A ver, eh, Saúl Edgardo. Saúl is here. Saúl, are you here? No. Because he has a particular question about the platform, but yeah. Hmm. Um, I didn't tell you, right, that it had been fixed, but it is fixed now. Let me tell you what time. At 5.55, I checked and it had already been fixed. I see some people still commenting about the problem at 6.58, but it was fixed already. Uh-huh. I don't understand. I, do, I don't understand the question, and that's why I wanted to ask uh, Edgar, because I don't understand the question that he has about the platform, because it says it's supposed to be fixed. Yeah, it is. It has been fixed. I already checked it, that it has been fixed. So in the in the case that he has, if you see the the, the question, it appears correct but you have to send it to get the score, right? Uh -huh. Teacher, a mí la tarea 3.5 sí me sale. Sí le sale, pues si es que usted puso atención ayer en clase. No, teacher, lo que pasa es de que en la clase, en el ejercicio se decía punto y coma, pero no es punto les... y es mayúscula la siguiente letra. Yo les dije, yo les... ¿qué les dije? A ver. Sí, lo dijo. ¿Qué les dije? A ver. ¿Quién se acuerda qué les dije? A ver, José Alberto. I remember that you say uh, we need to put semicolon and then a coma. Ajá. And what I else? have three wrongs. <laughs> what else did I tell you about that? What else? Uh, ah, can we use uh, a period uh -huh. and a capital letter? Uh huh. And then but but a comma. And a comma. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Why? I don't remember. <laughs> I told you. I told you that you had the two possibilities because in some cases. It depends on the book that they accept semicolon and comma, or they accept period and comma. So the two are correct, two are possible, but remember it's a platform, right? Uh, and it depends on how the platform has been uh, prepared. But you have the two possibilities. And I told you, some books, accept the semicolon and some others accept the, the period. Mm -hmm. That the two are correct. For example, in TOEFL, they accept period. 
but in some other grammar uh, exercises, they accept semicolon. So the two are correct. Vaya. Just going again to the examples, check this. I'm going to get my pen. It says, uh, therefore, they are used to, to show effect or result, right? And we have an example. I woke up late, semicolon, therefore, comma, I didn't eat breakfast. But then I presented the other case where I have, I have a headache, period, then capital letter, and then comma. I will stay home tonight. So the two forms are possible, right? The two forms are correct. What will depend is on the book that you are using. Remember I commented to you yesterday that in some cases, some books accept a period and some other books accept a semicolon. But it doesn't mean that one is correct and the other one no. Okay? But of course, it will depend on the platform. And the same chick, the, the same here. Vamos a ver. It was sunny, semicolon, hence, comma, I went to the beach. Or you can say it was sunny, period, hence, with capital letter, a comma, we went to the fish, right? The same here. So check. We were late as a result. We missed the beginning. So you may have here a semicolon or you may have a period, right? It will depend on the case that uh, how you're getting it at the moment, right? But the two are possible. Now, uh, I'm just going to make a little review about the topic because I know it's not an easy one, right? So we have what a result, expressing result, a result, effect, or a consequence that remember it's the same thing, is a thing that is caused by someone or something. So you have a result, you have a cause, you have an effect, you have a cause, you have a consequence, you have a cause. A result must necessarily have a cause, right? It necessarily has a cost. In English, you can express effects and results by knowing the following expressions. These ones, right? As a consequence, as a result, therefore, so, that's why, consequently. So you can say, I was very tired yesterday. That's why I went to bed very early, right? I didn't eat lunch. Consequently, I got a headache. Of course, when you are speaking, you don't see the punctuation, right? But there is a, a, a pause. Remember, when you have a period, the pause is longer. When you have a comma, the pause is shorter, but you should always use a pause. And in a semicolon, of course, you have a pause too. For example, if you say, she smoked every day, as a consequence, she got sick. What's the consequence? She got sick. But I'm not going so far, being in the reality of the country right now. Many people have been in concerts and soccer matches later. As a consequence, we have a sixth wave of COVID, right? So many people have been out in concerts and soccer matches without a mask. As a result, there are a lot of people getting sick, right? So you can say the consequence, what is the consequence? People going to concerts, people going to matches, people are, uh, are in the street without a mask. What is the result? More people with COVID, right? 
Okay, look at the examples here. We have the expressions in the table above, or this table, have the same rule. They always come in the middle of two sentences. They are all used to link two sentences, and the first sentence expresses a cause, and the second expresses an effect. So check the things that they have in common, right? They always come in the middle. Right? They always come in the middle of the sentence. They are used to link two sentences. And the first sentence expresses a cause, and the second sentence expresses an effect or a result or, as a, or a consequence, whatever you want to call it. That's, at the end, is the same thing. Yeah? Question there? No question. Mm -hmm. oh, teacher. Okay. Now, look at the examples. Here we are using period, right? Uh, she was sick, period. As a consequence, she was absent, right? What is the cause? She was sick. What is the consequence? Hmm? She was, she, was she was absent. She was absent, exactly. The cause is that she was sick. The consequence, she was absent. And remember what we said? They come in, in the they come in the middle, right? They come in the middle of the sentence, you see, as a consequence, therefore, so as a result. Yeah. So they come in the middle. Another thing, they link two sentences. She was sick, she was absent. She studied hard, she works at the, as the manager. She's, she's so rich, she has many cars. She used to, pay, to play taekwondo, she knows how to defend herself. So uh, they are all joining two sentences, right? And the first, expresses a cause and the second expresses a consequence. So here is my cause, she was sick. Consequence, she was absent, yeah? Cause, they were late. Consequence, we should, they were fired, right? They were late, that's why, remember we said that that's why is another transition that we can use, right? To express effect. So she was, they were late. That's why they were fired. Right? That's fire. In this case, uh -huh. is, is, we, don't, we don't use the comma. You don't need a comma because of the why. There is no pause here. Oh. Pause. She studied hard. My cause, my consequence, she works as a manager. Yeah, this time, this is a, post, a positive effect or a positive result, right? She studied hard, therefore, she works as the manager of the company. She's so rich. Consequence, no, right? Cause. She is so rich. Consequence, she has many cars. She is so rich, so she has many cars. She used to play Taekwondo. Hmm, that's the cause. As a consequence or as a result, she knows how to defend herself. Okay. Questions here? No questions. Question? No teacher. No teacher, no question. Now, check some other expressions of effect in English. The result of, right? Oh, mouse. The result of, the first effect of, yeah? The consequences of, the consequences of smoking are, 
getting sick of cancer or dying soon, right? So those are the consequences of smoking. Now, look at the examples, right? The result of dropping out of school is joblessness. What is joblessness? No job, right? No job. That's those are the effects. The effects of. I'm going to to to, to separate this a little bit. Much better. So, the result of dropping out of school is joblessness. The difference is that these ones can go at the beginning. If you remember, the rule was, the rule was that these ones, as a consequence, as a result, therefore, so that's why, and consequently, they go right in the middle. That, that the result of the first effect and the consequences of go at the beginning. Okay, that's why they are presented apart. The result of dropping out of school is joblessness. The first effect of Ill illiteracy is social marginalization. The consequences of education are a great job, a great and high salary. Yes? The consequences of the consequences of studying hard are learning more and passing with a good score. Right? Those are the consequences. The first effect of studying English every day is learning more. Mm -hmm. That's the first effect. The result of watching the videos in English and doing the exercises every day is getting more knowledge. Mm -hmm. Any question? No question. Sí, 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 sí. no, no, no. But I'm going to send you this exercise. I'm going to send you to the to the group for you to go discuss this a little bit and then we will check together, right? I'm going to paste. I'm going to paste this here. Y me van a decir que quieren las otras paginitas también. No, verdad, pues sí. Las nuevas de hoy. Yes, teacher, please. <laughs> las viejitas de ayer, no, ya se las de ayer. Okay. No, las de hoy sí, teacher. Ok. <laughs> sí. Vaya ahorita. Tengo muchas cosas abiertas. Eso es. Mm -hmm. Vamos, computer. My, all of them will be there in the in the chat. Just give me a second. I want to add all of them at that time. Well, let's send this one. Oh. Mm -hmm. Masha, there you go. 
And I'm going to send the order, of course. These are the exercises that you are going to do. Ahí quedó Alfredo en medio. Oye, they are five sentences. Va, okay. Ready? Ready, ready, ready. Yes. Okay, we're 17. I'm going to make groups of four. Adolfo, Claudia, Pedro, and Rosy. Adriana, Adriana, David, and Fernando. Mm -hmm. Carla, Nubia, Zulma, Anna, David, Zulma. Let's let me check who are the ones that are not in class today. Alfredo, Claudia, Cruz, Adolfo. Pero José Alfredo no está, ¿verdad? No está conectado. Cruz. Tampoco. Bueno, vamos. Go ahead. If you see your lonely, call me, right? I'm going to go check it. I'm going to be monitoring who is where. Go ahead, discuss the sentences. Choose the correct answer for each of them. Let's see. Jose Alfredo. Ah, nice. Ahí está. Adriana, Sofía. Oh, Victor. Victor, are you here? Oh, oh no. David, que José Arnoldo me ha quedado so. Va, se salió José Arnoldo porque solito me había quedado. David, David, hello. David, 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 David. No. No. Quiero ver algo. The last three. Oh, yes. Voy a ver si puedo hacer algo. Es que tengo Alfredo en medio. Pero ya. Ajá. What? Quedó Alfredo justo en medio. Ah, ah. Pero después de Alfredo es el ejercicio, ¿verdad, Ticha? Sí, no, es que hay uno en, eh, eh, justo pegándolo, había pegado el primero cuando José Alfredo escribió. Ah, she had a terrible accident. Ah, ah. Ajá, entonces él ha quedado justo en medio. Uh -huh. Ya la vieron. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
Ay, no me sale. Pero creo que esa es. Es que sale raro. She had a terrible accident, so she was driving so fast. Y no la puede jalar de WhatsApp, de WhatsApp, Rosy. De, de, ah, espérame, teacher, ya sé, sí, hice algo, que no. Porque pienso que allí se va a ver mucho mejor. Sí, en la pura mañana. No, después del desayuno. ¿Eh? Adolfo, después del desayuno. <risa> Que nos va a dar desayuno, dijo Hello, teacher. Can I, can I participate for a little moment? Sure. No, teacher, sale igual. Ah. Sale igual. No, pues sí. I pero... am trying to no, listen, pero... but I can Ro... hear you very well. No, si copiela del, del, del WhatsApp. En el WhatsApp que más pegué. Ah, sí, 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 ya sé. Pero a ver si me sale ahorita. Ahí está. Ajá. Ahí está. Esa es la. Ya le digo cuál. Esa es la segunda. Le Hay otra. Falta... Le faltan dos. Hay una antes y una después. Hola. 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 Yo pensé que se me había desconectado. No, no estamos buscando el ejercicio ahorita. Ok. Son tres, Tiche. Yes. No, son cinco. O sea, sí, tres diapositivas, ¿verdad? Dos mm. tienen dos preguntas y una tiene una. Es que, es que una quedó el mensaje de José Alfredo. Las otras dos después del mensaje que mandó José No, si todo me dijo por el chat. ¿Tú ya encontraste, Rosa? Sí, pero solo encuentro todo. Si querés, si querés, mostrate de compartir de tercero. No es muy bueno. ¿Quién está compartiendo? Yo estaba compartiendo, pero... Ah, ok. Va, pues... Te voy a compartir. Eso lo encuentro... Otro. Este... Este es uno. Y los otros dos están... Este es uno. Este. Y este. Sí. Serían solo... Es que las otras tres creo que es lo que estábamos viendo, pero de ejercicio ¿Eh? solamente es ese exercise. I studied hard. So I was able to pass the test successful. Which one of these entities is correct? She had a terrible accident, so she... Was 
And the same picture says which one of these sentences is correct. I think that is the, the, the first one. I wrote so many books, therefore my writing style has become great and professional. And the, and the second, the second is which one of these sentences is correct? The second one, she was smoking a lot. As a result, she died. Mm -hmm. Teacher, I have a question. Tell me. Uh, we have to make a present a presentation or only no, no. we have to discuss? No, no, just, just check the, choose the correct answer in each of the questions. Okay, we think, we think that is the first one. I wrote so many books, therefore my writing style has become great. Uh, instead of I wrote so many books, so my writing style has become great. Because therefore, I think there is more formal. Mm -hmm. And the second one, uh, we think that is the second. She was smoking a lot. As a result, she died. Because it's, it has no sense, the first one. Uh-huh. Yes, yes, very good. Some people eat junk food. Junk. <laughs> As a consequence. As a consequence. Uh, um, the, diff the difference is the letter A. As a, uh -huh. the others don't have. But the meaning is the same. It's the same. Mm. I think there is the number two. As to say at the beginning. Mm, I think it's not the same because as 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 a consequence. Is como consecuentemente, teacher. Ajá, no, como consecuencia. Ah. Uh -huh. Como consecuencia. Some people need to afford and don't practice for. As a consequence. <clears throat> Hmm? But in the meaning, teacher, as consequently and as a consequence mm -hmm. is the same. Yeah. And a consequently practically is the same. Yeah, they all they all mean the same. Uh -huh. So how can I Consequently, what, what is the difference for the for so this case? One or the other one. There is no difference. The only difference is that you have one more word to use. <laughs> but remember, <laughs> remember that when you're writing, and it's something very important is avoiding repetition. Right? That's why there are many words that mean the same. So avoiding you, repetition. Avoiding repetition. So you not to be using the same word, the same, the same, and the same. So uh -huh. Uh -huh. Another one that means the same. Those mm -hmm. are the synonyms. Right? That's the purpose of the synonyms. 
to to help you substitute one word that you used one time for another one and avoid repetition. Mm -hmm. uh, teacher, but when you use as a consequence, you need to use of. No necessarily. It depends. If you are using the first, uh, remember I shared with you two lists, right? So you can say as a consequence, for example, if you say, well, she got late to work every day this year. As a consequence, she got fired, right? But if you say, if you want to use of, that is the consequence of. A-N-G. No, the consequences of. Ah. Uh. The. No okay. as a consequence. Ah, okay. Right? okay. The consequence of getting late every day during the year. Right? Are mm -hmm. being fired, uh, getting discounts, mm -hmm. or whatever, right? So, though in that case, you're not giving only one consequence, you're saying the consequences. Of, or if you want to use the first, effect, the first effect of getting to getting to work late every single day is getting a discount or getting an amonestation, right? That's the first consequence. Getting a memo. The first effect of getting to work late every day is getting a memo. Or the first effect is getting an oral amonestation. The second effect is getting a memo. The third effect is getting a discount. And what is the, the last effect? The fire. <laughs> uh -huh. Exactly. So, so you you can be changing that where you have the first and the second and the third and the fourth or the last one. Or if you want to say all the set consequences at one, you say the consequences of. The consequences. Mm -hmm. okay. Oh, ah, okay. But the other one, no. You say, well, she got late to work every day this year as a consequence she was fired. So ahí no hubo más consecuencias, just one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. She didn't pay attention to the first amonestation. As a consequence, she got a hardest one. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you have any question over there. No? Una question. No, no, no teacher. Okay. Ah, pues. okay. Let's go. Carlita, bien calladita está. No. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, we discuss other exercise. Ah, ah, okay, okay. Nubia, Nubia, la que no dice nada, teacher. Ya se fue. No. Ay, eso, ya ven, salió <laughs> corriendo. Let's go. Okay. Just waiting for everybody to come and then we check and then the attendance. Ready. Um, number one. 
I studied hard. What's the option, the correct option? I studied hard. So because I think it's so. So I was able to pass the test successfully. El because el you two are just distractors, right? They are just distractors because we're talking about result, not about reason, right? Okay, which one of these sentences is correct? She had a terrible accident, so she was driving so fast. She was she was driving so fast. So she had a terrible accident. The second teacher, she was driving so fast. So she had a terrible accident. Exactly. Because remember, we said about this structure, we had the transition is in the middle. It is joining the two sentences. The first one is the cause and the second is the result. Okay, uh, which of these sentences is very formal? I wrote so many books, therefore my writing style has become great and professional. I wrote so many books, so my writing style has become great and professional. Which is very formal. Number one, teacher. Perfect. Therefore, remember the formal ones are <clears throat> the formal ones are hence, thus, and therefore. Right? Those are like if you want to be really, really formal, you use thus, hence, or therefore. A ver, which of these sentences is correct? As a result, she was smoking a lot. As a result, she was smoking a lot, she died. She was smoking a lot. As a result, she died. Number two, she was smoking a lot. As a result, she died. Exactly. What is the problem with the first one? Well, it has not just one, it has many problems. Uh-huh. Why number one can definitely not be correct? Why? First is result, teacher. First is result, right? No results. And then what else? That's one. Of. Do you need of? that you would use of only if after that you were using a noun, that you're using a sentence. What is Teacher, a noun? Yes. I think uh, the correct form, it can be, and I don't know, <laughs> she died, point, period. As a result of, she was smoking a lot. Mm. That, that's what that I was saying. If you use as a result of, you have to use a noun, not a sentence, like she was smoking a lot. Oh. She died as a result of the smoke of the cigarette she smoked every day. Right? Mm. Okay. Um, okay. She okay. died as a result of smoking a lot. Pero ahí sí se le vuela el chi y el was. Right? And okay. another problem is that as a result cannot be at the beginning. It has to be in the middle. So you have three problems in that sentence, right? In the first one. So definitely cannot be. A ver, let's see the last one. Some people eat junk food and don't practice sport they become fat. Mm. 
Mm -hmm. Only one is correct. Only As one. a consequence. As a consequence, exactly. The first one, the problem is that you don't say as consequently, you say consequently only, right? The second, le falta el as a. Y el otro, igual, consequently. I cannot say as consequently, right? That's why the only correct one is as a consequence. Some people eat junk food and don't practice sport. As a consequence, they become fat. Questions over there? Questions? No? No questions. Okay. Well, pues, let's check attendance. Oh, me acordé yo. Para ser Friday todavía andamos buen cerebro. Vaya, let's see. Adolfo. Present teacher. Adriana Maria. Present teacher. Adriana Sofia. Present teacher. Ana. No hay Ana hoy. Brenda. Brenda. Claudia Guadalupe. Cruz Antonio. Present teacher. David. Present teacher. José Alberto. Present teacher. José Alfredo. José Arnoldo. Present. Carla Lorena. Present teacher. Mauricio. Mauricio no hay tampoco. Nubia. Present teacher. Pedro Luis. Present teacher. Saúl Edgardo. Saúl, me pareció verlo. Entró. Y Ana por ahí está conectada también, pero se sí. nos durmió. No, aquí estoy. Mira. No me contestó el present. Present. Saúl está dormido también. Vamos a ver. Saúl. Zulma Janet. Present teacher. Ok. Victor. Victor, Victor. No Victor, ¿verdad? Ok. Teacher, solo decirle que esto me saca por ratos. Está mala la señal de internet, entonces. Acá va a entrar Víctor. Víctor. Muy malísima, muy malísima. Sí, yo lo andaba buscando, Víctor. Sí. sí, así me dijo mi hija, no le cargaba el Inter. Vale, ahí está. Present teacher. Vaya, Mauricio, si no, ¿verdad? Mauricio no. Present tu teacher. Si no, esperen. Muy no, malísima la señal. No he terminado que ando buscando estos niños que no, no están. Vaya, so sorry. Let's see, Victor, present. Fernando. Present teacher. And Rosy. Present teacher. Ok. Antes de que me vayan. <laughs> Vaya, I'm going to send you an exercise for you to do so you feel like, hey, vaya. Remember, purpose, result, reason. Purple, re, purple, <laughs> purpose, result, and reason. I'm going to send the link in the chat for you to do it in the Zoom chat. Oye, zoom, zoom, zoom. Ahí donde dice present, present, teacher. Va, there you go. 
Oh, enter the link, practice, practice the last one before we change topic. I see you have fun. <laughs> you have fun doing it in the in the link. Lo quieren en WhatsApp. So it's okay there. Hmm? Please, teacher. Okay. If you can. It's okay there. Sure. Not a problem. Much. So remember, you have to decide what you need to use, right? To complete the sentence. Teacher, pero eh, yo ahí veo que, o sea, no solo una respuesta, sino que pueden ser varias en una sola. Ajá. Uh -huh. Choose the best. You have to choose the best one. So at the end, they will take you as correct the best one only. Mm -hmm. which is the best one. That's the one that you have to choose. Siempre me salen malas. He knelt, he has, he was in the ground. Wow. Go down in your hands and knees. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
I had four of eight. <laughs> Okay, four out of eight. Yes, I going to, be in, <laughs> to do again. Yeah, you I can. I didn't do. like this. You didn't. I didn't like this. <laughs> wow, you didn't like it. I get the one of eight. <laughs> 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 In this case, uh -huh. I need to start session, right? Why? To register my result or my grades. Ah, uh, but you don't want to register your score, or do you? Mm, I can find the score or how to how to push the option to to get a score. If you push it, only watch how many you can, how many you have goods, how many goods you have. Uh huh. But you can erase it and do it again. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah. Ah, so more answer. More information. No. Um, videos home. Grammar exercise test prep level test grammar listening. Learn to learn Spanish. Learn Spanish top. I don't have any options. Um, mm -hmm. How are you doing? I choose a different option in the A question or in the A sentence, but I, in my cell phone, I am working in my cell phone and I don't have any option to, to review my, my to answer. See, to see your answer. You don't have options to see the answer. Yeah. Okay. My last one, one more try, and then we check together. Cuatro de ocho me sale. Wow. <laughs> okay. One. Um, um grammar. I don't know. Oh. In in the option when you read my your answer, yeah, it go it going to show you the the good or bad that you have. Yeah, I only have the option mark answer. Uh -huh, but at the end, add to the left, it show you the answers. Uh huh. At the left. Choose the best word to complete each sentence. In a short, I, in a short window. In a short window. Menu, grammar exercise, why to try to more information, learning app apps. Um no my friend, I can't I can you can find. But it's similar the exercise yesterday that yesterday, right? Um, no. This is another link. It's not the same. Ah. 
Okay. Okay, I will try again. Okay. I am sure that the first one is sings. <laughs> you are sure? I think so. Morning. Number one, everything looked so in order, we didn't clean anything else. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What's the correct option? Tell me. For me, since teacher. Uh -huh. Since everything looks so in order, we didn't clean anything else. Number two. He knew he was in the wrong. He had to apologize. I have a doubt with that. Yo puse sin as. Sin as. He knew he was in the wrong. He had to apologize. Due to he, he knew he was in wrong. Okay. Yeah, with the Teacher, apolog apologize is with S or C? In British, it's with S. In American, it's with Z. Okay, thank you. Most of these pages are, Mary are, are British. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Little differences. Go down on your hands and knees. So, teacher, uh, what's the correct answer in the number two? Number two, we put do two. Do two. Do two, he knew okay. he was in the wrong, he had to apologize. A ver, what is number three? Go down no, and knees. So as to. So as to cut the chances of falling. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is a machine. This is a machine for polishing wooden floors. Mm -hmm. Floors. This is a machine. The, the number three were, was, what is the options? The correct options? We put so as to. So as to, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. For polishing wooden floors, we use it in the purpose, right? That's purpose. I mm -hmm. decided to do a Swedish course. Since I was going to live in Sweden okay. for a year. Yeah. We couldn't sleep last night at all. Noise downstar is owing to owing to owing to. Mm -hmm. See, because because should be because of, right? And do is missing the two, so it's not possible. As definitely no. Okay. Um, it was already dark. We waited no longer and went home. As. As it was already dark, we waited no longer and went home, okay? And the last one, Mrs. John's falling ill so suddenly we have canceled the conference. Do two. Do two. Do, do two. Do two, Mrs. John's falling ill, falling ill so suddenly. Mm -hmm. We can see the Vamos a ver. Ahí aquí están a la par, están las correctas. ¿Ve? Este, eh, ¿cómo se llama? Eh, me olvidó, Alonso. 
Adolfo. <laughs> Bye. Every, everybody say to me, Arnoldo, Adolfo, Adolfo Arnulfo, Number Mardoqueo, two. whatever. <laughs> Number two, no le gusta. This is <laughs> that the best option is seeing us. Seeing as he knew he was in the wrong, he had to apologize. Okay. Mm -hmm. Porque si usamos do to, tendría que ser do to being in the wrong, he had to apologize. Acuérdense que después de do to, we have to use a noun. Igual mm -hmm. que because of. Right? Okay. Nos sacamos seven. Seven out of eight. Huh? Not bad. Right? Not bad. Good. Not bad. Yeah. Good, good. Let's go back. Let's go back. By checking. Uh, we have some questions there, page number 30. What are some common issues related to warehouse management? Remember yesterday we were mentioning some issues related to, to warehousing, right? And all the logistics and all those things. So you already know what is warehouse management, right? So we have some common issues related to warehouse management. What can you recall from that? Mm -hmm. What can you recall? What are some common issues related to waterhouse management? Hello? Uh, uh, yeah. Hello. Yes. Uh, we we talk dirty about condition. Uh, dirty condition, yeah. overcrowding, yeah. overcrowding, yeah. growing inventory, uh -huh. damaged product, yeah. having too many returns. Yeah, that's a big problem. How can those issues affect productivity? How can they affect productivity? Because they really affect. All of yeah. them. Imagine not having enough space for you to move. Yeah. In the warehouse, not knowing where things are. Mm -hmm. You cannot be productive. Maybe you can you can have a, a temperature increasing. Mm -hmm. And does uh, can can damage or affect the products exactly exactly imagine uh, just thinking about having a total mess remember when we talk about mm, warehouse management we're talking about the distribution of every single thing in the warehouse right and knowing where single thing is in the warehouse so since the inbound to the outbound, but if you don't know where things are because the warehouse is a mess, you cannot be productive. Imagine you have lost a package and you're sending five of your best employees to find it because you have lost it and it is time that the product goes out. What? What would you do? What would you do if you have lost a package because your warehouse is a mess, but it's time to send the, pro the product or the package that you have lost? What would you do? Hmm? Would you forget it? Would you look for another person to look for it? 
Would you tell the, the customer, listen, I'm so sorry, your package got lost. We will return your money. What would you do in that case? Hmm? Definitely you would use more resources, right? From the company to solve the problem. But how will you solve it? Is there a solution? Yes or no? Mm -hmm. Is there a solution? Yes, teacher, no teacher, there isn't. What is the best solution to that problem? What problem? The one I just mentioned. Uh, warehouse management. No. I said, there is a package that should be sent to the client, but it's lost. But it's but it's lost. Ah, oh, okay. <clears throat> okay, the solution is the first the first point make a claim to trans to transport is it depends about the condition of the service provider. In this case, the it's TPL. Only one, it's only one package, Victor. It's not a big uh, truck. Oh, only one. Okay, only one package. Uh huh. But it's very it's, expensive. It is about five hundred dollars. That small package. Yeah. And you have. Okay. Uh, if there is only one package, is only um. A not is only a not receivable for for the customer like a devolution and una, a credit a bill back is a bill back to you Would you, you take discount like a return yes that's the word the return you discount that return in the next purchase okay until the next purchase that means your client has to be waiting so on the money. I, I, I think you can uh, send an another uh, package mm -hmm. and Change then the package. you can look at uh, the lost. Uh -huh. Yeah, if yeah, the, in this moment, yeah, it's, uh, it's your problem. But your client have a solution. Your, your client has to receive something. Yes. It's not uh, you send you send to to uh, another another package. Uh -huh. I think it's the same product. By a check, and I'm, I'm telling you, yes, it's one package. You see how uh, you consider important. It's ah, uh, it's only one package. But But what happens? One client, one customer is unsatisfied has some satisfaction that will affect the result of the whole warehouse. No, they are not trustful. They lose your packages. Okay, you have you you can co you can get in contact with the final consumer uh -huh. and offer I don't know apologize uh, letter. Yeah. And and to recover or send another package. Okay. Tell them please wait a minute, right? <laughs> a minute, but wait a little bit. We will solve the situation. So the customer has to know that you're doing something to help him. Yeah, of course. It's basically. Yes, that is one of the most important things. If no that will definitely affect your productivity because one bad result is affecting oof, the whole company. Even if we say, yeah. no, I chiquito. Mm. <laughs> you don't know 
who the person is. You don't know who the person knows. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that can really affect. Now, or the people, the people can, can, uh, can do a claim in, in the social networks, for mm -hmm. example. Imagine now with the social media, right? Giving yeah. a review to your company. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Bad reviews are the worst for companies. Now, look at these problems. Imagine you are a warehouse manager and you're experiencing problems with inventory, <laughs> and that's what I was telling you, right? With inventory counts and misplaced products. Which of the following issues would you solve first? You're going to run. So imagine you're the warehouse manager. Usted no es el que vea quién lo perdió, que lo busque. You are the manager, right? Yeah. Because sometimes we as employees, we can say, it's not my problem. I didn't lose it. The one who lost it has to find it. It's not my business. But no, mm -hmm. in this case, no, you are the manager, right? You are the warehouse manager. And you're experiencing problems, not just one. You're experiencing problems with inventory counts, so no inventory. Right? It is wrong. It is a wrong inventory. And you're having problems with inventory counts and placed products. See, some products are everywhere. You don't have a robot like the one of Amazon, right? So you have only people with big eyes and glasses to find <laughs> product, but not even, even if you have, even if you have a robot, uh... Uh, always uh, there are uh, people with responsibility. Ah, of course, of course, of course, by a check. So there is there are problems with inventory counts and misplaced products. Which of the following issues would you solve first? You have accurate receipts and purchase orders, lack of communication between employees, Lack of cooperation between departments, time management, warehouse space and organization. And you have to rank from one, the least affects productivity to five, the most affects productivity. One, the least. Ah, no, it doesn't affect productivity too much. Uh-huh, but what about number five? Yeah, it really affects productivity. So put them in order, right? Rank them. Rank them according to which you think is like the one that really affects the productivity of the company and the one that, yeah, it affects, but not much, right? So you take them from one to five. I'm going to send you uh, to work with a partner. So you discuss and get ready to share and to give reasons for your decision. Let me see. I'm going to remake the groups again. But I'm going to add one more. Ow. I to join. A ver, group number one, Adolfo, Victor, only Jose Alberto is in the group. Hello. Hello. Maybe. No, I me, Victor. Me regreso. Victor, no ha entrado todavía. Es que me regresó, entré y me regresó. Mm, no, no se ha ido. Vaya, lo voy a mover a otro. Check, check. Mm. 
Entonces, ¿qué? Ay, Cali. Ay, Ay, teacher. Ay, yo me veía aquí a un montón de gente y Víctor no puede entrar, dice. Y José Alfredo says is in the is el no está vaya me la llevo Carlita y este grupo que tenía cuatro personas dio parte <risa> no sí. Mira, pues. Saúl y Cruz no entraron. Ahí me la voy a volver a llevar, Cali. Ok. De que de los cinco grupos que hice, o lo va a quedar tres. Ok. Place products. So, one is so first. Wrong, this is so first, okay. The primero que sería el cinco. Mm. No, it's the one to five. Most effect productivity. Five is the most um I have most effect. And one less effect uh, productivity. I, I, I think I think uh, is uh, the direction is you have to to solve uh, the five, right? Yeah. But in order of what is the yes. most affect the, pro the productivity. Because if you have uh, if you have fire in your house, the first mm -hmm. you have to do is the most uh, urgent, urgent mm -hmm. yeah. right? And then and I think the, the, the direction is uh, how you resolve this, but in an order, uh, beginning in the most effect productivity to less to uh, less affect productivity. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yes. And maybe if you solve the first or the most urgent thing, you can help to solve the other ones. Mm -hmm. Because in this case, if the communication is better, the cooperation too, and the time management is going to be less. So mm -hmm. uh -huh. if you select the communication, you can solve in an easier or faster way. Uh, right. Mm -hmm. and in, 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 at the end, you can wear, you, you have warehouse, you can dedicate warehouse space and organization. Mm -hmm. Yes. And then first is lack of communication. As, as you said, Adriana. Yes. The first, the first is uh, the communication between employees. Mm, así como lo han put, uh, the way that it is, that it is Rob in the in the in the picture, it's okay. In the homework, first is the warehouse space and organization, and then the time management. Yeah, but the communication was... is not the last. <laughs> we don't have until Sunday, no. <laughs> no, today. <laughs> okay. For the reason I I did the homework today, uh, but not finish I. You haven't finished. No, because I, I, I have 
mistake into the number 3.5. And the punctuation. Yes. You know what to do, right? Oh, oh okay. Well. Check we don't no. have tomorrow. Okay. In, in only in number four, then three point three point five, number four. Number four. Check it la punctuation that has to be pre or comma. Right? The you have to do it to finish it today, Sulma. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, because the thing is that by tomorrow at eight or nine in the morning, I'm receiving the message. You haven't uploaded the platform. Okay. That week I said I do it on Saturday afternoon, remember? But then I got the message saying you have to do it on Friday. Okay. But my last day of the unit is Monday. I said, no, but you have to do it every Friday. <laughs> That's why That's why I tell you, no, so sorry. It has to be uh, tomorrow. Okay. Well, uh, it has to be today. So okay. they check it in the morning. Okay. And it has to be complete. Okay, bueno, I guess you finished, no? Yes. Let's go, please. Let's go. Hola. I am alone here, teacher. <risa> que usted no es quiso mover al grupo chiquito. Es que mire, me sacaba y me volví al principal. Ay, no. Sí, no sé qué pasa. Es el, el internet is giving problems, probably. It's maybe, maybe. Sorry, hoy ando con dolor. Stress. Yeah, totally. Dress. Uh, my magic box. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Ice box. Yeah. But these are like chill. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I keep it in the in the refrigerator to use it when I have pain. Okay. Let's see, let's see, let's see. But I don't take pills anymore, no more. Ya mucho. <laughs> okay, I see, ready to check. Ready, ready. Ah, well, no, you will share, right? Because I want you to tell me uh, what you decided and why. A ver, one volunteer, Saúl Edgardo. No, Saúl is not here, right? Let's see, Rosie, tell me, Rosie. Y después, <laughs> we'll choose the next one. <laughs> okay, teacher, number one, warehouse space and organization. Okay. Why? Because it is very important uh, the organization of the warehouse. Okay, because the organization is very important. Because it's a it's a basic condition in every warehouse warehouse housing management. Uh huh. You said this one, right? You have to start with the space organization, of course. Okay. Okay, okay, no, pero ese sería no, no number one, sino que number five, ¿verdad? No, es number one. Pero, ¿el que menos afecta la productividad? O el que no, el warehouse space of organization. One, one, to, one to five. Sí. 
one is less important and five high important. So, <laughs> warehouse space and organization is number one or number five? Number one is less number one, number one, affects productivity. If one, if one means less, less important and five is the most important, right? Uh-huh, exactly. We have to be clear. Yeah. First, we have to be clear. The qualification. Mm -hmm. Number one is loss, uh, is low importance. And five is high important. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So okay. for, for us, for my group, the space organization is, the, is a basic condition, but uh, everybody or anybody uh, can, can to be organized, 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 pardon. Mm, but it's not important. Para que va a estar organizado y no importa. It's a it's a trump. <laughs> well, see? Yes. Uh -huh. So. No, that, that the warehouse space can be affect the production. Of course. Or the productivity, but is the others cows uh, can be affect more. Yeah, okay. Okay, Vaya, what is number two? Time management. Time management. It's not important. It's yeah, important. it's important, but it's it's less important than than the communication between employees, of course. Okay. <laughs> Remember this step. Yeah. Remember, we are busy, teacher. <laughs> Remember, teacher. Step to step. <laughs> okay, number three. <laughs> number you are making fun of us. <laughs> what about number? Number three, inaccurate receipts and purchase orders. Okay. Number four. Lack of cooperation between departments. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Number four. Uh -huh. Yes. And the last one. A bit with employees, that communication. Okay. So for you, the thing that or the problem that most affects a productivity is lack of communication. Yeah. Between employees. Yeah. Between employees. Yeah. <laughs> Between employees. Uh -huh. Because because uh, the company subsists or exists uh, for the employees. Simple. Que todos entendieran eso, Adolfo, por amor. <laughs> <laughs> okay, very good. Yes, of course, we know that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Any other group has a different answer? Yes. I know at the end I finished with three groups with about 20 people each. A ver. Group number, what number, what number? Number, I don't know. <laughs> number one, I think so. Okay, next group. Next group. A ver, Victor. <laughs> Victor will be one group. <laughs> Only me. <laughs> Only two because you were alone. Okay, Victor. What do you think? Do you agree with this, this with this uh, ranking, Victor? Why? Why not? Oh man, let me see. 
warehouse space and integration, time management, lack of cooperation between departments, inaccurate receipts and purchase orders. Um, I will, I, I will change the number five with number four. Okay. What about the others? Um, I don't agree with the others. Okay. Mm -hmm. A ver, another group. Another group. Do you agree? Disagree? Any change? No? Uh, group number three, teacher. The group number three. Okay, group number three. Do you have a different distribution? No. The same? You agree, the same. With, you agree with the first group or with the group of Victor? With the first group. With the first group. So you think that the one, the thing that most affects is the lack of communication between employees? Yes. Okay. Good. Good, good. Now let's go to the vocabulary. Here, what you're going to do is label the warehousing alternatives to the definitions, right? So you have drop shipping, public warehouse, private warehouse, direct shipping, and contract warehouse. Go ahead, let's match. Let's match, match, and then we will check. The first one, teacher. Uh huh. Uh, direct sh shipping. Direct shipping. Yes. Okay. Vamos a cortar. Direct shipping. So direct shipping, this is a method of delivering goods from the supplier to the customer direct. Great. What about number two? It is operated as an independent business offering a range of services such as storage, handling and transportation of the basis of a fixed or variable fee. Mm. Private warehouse, yes. I think. Private warehouse. Yes, yes, I agree with you. Espérenme que perdí la tijera. Right. Okay, very good. Private warehouse. Uh -huh. Number three, warehouse owned by a third party entity. These warehouses provide a specialized service in addition to allowing the client to store goods. Public warehouse. Hmm? Public warehouse. Public warehouse. Contract. It's a contract warehouse. A contract, yes. Because you have hired another person, right? That mm -hmm. means for another party. You have given the contract to somebody else. Uh -huh. 
And then the retailer does not keep goods in stock, but instead transfers customers' orders and shipment details to the manufacturer, another retailer, or a wholesaler, who then ships the goods directly to the customer. What is it? Drop shipping. Yes. Drop shipping. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Very good. And the last one? What about the last one? It's a store a facility uh -huh. open to the general public. Yeah. General is related to public. Exactly. That's a public warehouse. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nice. Easy questions. Any questions? No teacher, no question for me. Okay, what about the others? Do you have any questions? No question, teacher. No, no teacher. Okay. All, all clear like the coffee. Like the coffee, all very clear. I see, I see. <laughs> like the coffee, the, the way I like my coffee, not too, uh -huh. not too strong. Okay, repeat. Direct shipping. Direct shipping. Direct shipping. Direct shipping. A method of delivering goods. Is this a method of delivering goods? This is a method of delivering goods from the supplier to the customer directly. Directly. Private warehouse. Private warehouse. It is operated as an independent business. It is operated as an independent business. Offering a range of best of services. Offering a range of services. Such as storage, handling, and transportation. Such as storage, handling, and transportation. On the basis of a fixed or variable fee. On the basis of a fixed or variable fee. Contract warehouse. Contract warehouse. Warehouse owned by a third party entity. Warehouse, warehouse owned by a third party, by a third party entity. entity. These warehouses provide specialized services in addition to allowing the clients to, to store goods. This warehouse provides provide specialized services service in addition to allowing the client to store goods. goods. These warehouses provide specialized services. This warehouse provides specialized, specialized services. services. In addition to allowing the client to store goods. In addition to allowing the client to store goods. Drop shipping. Drop shipping. Drop shipping. The retailer does not keep goods in stock. The retailer does, does not keep goods, keep goods in, stock. in stock. But instead, but instead, transfers customer orders, transfers customer orders, and shipment details, and shipment details to the manufacturer, to the manufacturer, another retailer, another retailer. Or a wholesaler. Or a wholesaler. Who then ships the goods directly to the customer. Who then ships the goods direct, directly, directly to the customer. Public warehouse. Public warehouse. It is a storage facility. It is, it is a storage facility. That is open to the general public. That is open to the general public. While this kind of warehouse, while this kind of warehouse, warehouse is used by private individuals, 
is used, used by, private by private individuals. individuals. They are also used by companies of small to medium size. They, they are, are also, also used, used by companies, by the companies of, of small, small to medium size. size to store their goods safely. To they store their goods, goods safely. safely. Okay, very good. Any questions here? Questions about no teachers. No, the meaning is very clear. Excellent. Excellent. Well, let's go for the last attendance then. I'm going yes. to stop sharing here. Last attendance. Aha, ya me los puedo. Vaya, let's see, Adolfo. Present and nice weekend for all. Thank you. Adriana Maria. Present teacher. <laughs> Yo dije. <laughs> Adriana. Adriana Sofía. Ella sí ya fue. Se durmió. <ríe> Ana. Present teacher. Ok. Uh, Brenda Alexandra. Brenda. Brenda Alexandra. Nota. Eh, Claudia Guadalupe. Claudia Guadalupe, Cruz Antonio, Present teacher. David, Present teacher, José Alberto, Present teacher, José Alfredo, José Arnoldo, José Arnoldo, Present. Carla Lorena. Present teacher. Mauricio Emilio. Uy, Mauricio me perdió otra vez. Dos días, güey. Pues, hermano. Vamos a ver. Mm -hmm. Ok. Eh, su nubia, su lema. Nubia. Present teacher. Pedro Luis. Present teacher. Saúl Edgardo. Present. Madanet. Present. <coughs> Victor. Present teacher, present. Fernando Enrique. Present teacher. And Rosy. Present teacher. Ok, bueno, ¿quién se queda conmigo? Zulma. ¿Verdad? Ok. Hay que es Zulma. Yesterday was Saúl, ¿verdad, Saúl? Yes. Bye, see you on Monday, teacher. Monday. Don't, Bye. hi, Victor, Victor, Victor. Ya me actualizó. Right. Ya me actualizó plataforma. Me falta todavía. Mm, hoy recuerdo. No, no. Sí, ok. Teacher, y toda la plataforma, la, la tres tenemos que llenar. Sí, la unidad. Toda. Si sí, solo son cinco ejercicios de cinco preguntitas. <ríe> es chiquito. ¿Cuándo recoge? Mañana, mediodía. No, fíjese que no, porque el sábado pasado me escribió el jefe. Ok. Que, que quiere que le recoja el viernes. Yo ok. Le, pero, el, pero yo... Pues opinaba de ¿no? es cada viernes. Ok. Así que ni mollo. Hmm, vaya. Hoy recojo. Vaya, vaya. Ok. Y bueno. un Monday. Monday. Ay, bye bye, a dormir. <ríe> ok, bye bye. Chao. Chao, chao. Ay, finis, teacher. Eso, ya voy a revisar. <ríe> voy a revisar. Lo logré.
It's, How do you say lo logré? I did it. <laughs> I did it. <laughs> hey, thank you. You're welcome. Good night, teacher. Good night. See you Monday, Carlita. Enjoy your weekend. Thank you. Okay, Sulma, how are you? Hi, teacher. I I am running with the homework, <laughs> but I have problem just with with one. Which one? The punctuation. Ah, number five. Yeah, and I finish. Ah, perfect, perfect, perfect. Yeah, it was not that difficult, right? Just to refresh the the use of the punctuation in the exercise yes because as i told you you have two options one to put semicolon and the other to put the Come. period right uh, period. okay period for example if you say she smoked too much mm -hmm. period as a result comma comma uh, okay. She died younger. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Qué mal ejemplo. Poesita. <laughs> 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 okay, so that that is a, a with period because the platform is asking for it with period, no with a, yes. uh -huh, no with coma, right? That's why okay. we checking we checking that with with period. Ah, okay. I'm going to try again. Aha, uh -huh. you will accept it. If you put it with period, you will have no problem. Ah, okay. It will accept it. That's okay. Vamos a ver, I'm checking. Some people already finished, fíjese. Uh -huh. But some others, no. Ah, okay. Aha. Uh -huh. And the thing is that I need to see how is every, everybody doing to, to be I I have more work. I didn't uh, read your message, but, <laughs> uh, <laughs> but uh, I have already all except this. Ah, ah, but that's but, what is, uh -huh, is yeah. fast, right? You can fa do it faster. The yes. problem is when you have a lot more to do, right? Yes. Because for example, there are people who have not be begun yet. And that means getting more time to, to finish. Some yeah. others already finished. And as I was checking the, the exercise that you had to do, because uh, we were checking that it was corrected before I could co collect the grades today, right? Yes. But good. Vamos a ver soon, Maya. La vamos a encontrar como va. José Roberto. I am trying this, but I have wrong the same. Póngale period. Póngale period. At, end, at the end, I have to put it too. No. Uh, no. End of the sentence. Sí. Sí. Porque okay. si no lo va a tomar mal. Okay. Uh -huh. So you have, you if you have to write the complete yeah. sentence, you put a period at the end. And remember to start the sentence with capital letter. Yes, I, I am with the, I have with the capital letter, but I don't know what is the problem as a result. Maybe I write something in cover. Could be a letter. If you have a spelling, uh, yes, or if fine. you're misspelling something, it will give you wrong, right? So That's you have fine. to check the you have to check the spelling, 
Mm -hmm. I have to check the, the punctuation. So it's not just the, the spelling, right? But those, <laughs> the that was, that was, I think. The spelling. Yes. Oh. I put a verb incorrectly. Ah, that's why. That's yes. why. Uh huh. If you don't put the, the, the spelling correctly, it will give it to you wrong. And you may mm -hmm. be thinking that it's about the, the punctuation and that it will not be because of the punctuation. It will be because of something else, right? Yes. Uh -huh. But that's okay. That's how we learn. <laughs> yes, that's true. Yeah, because those things that you remember are the ones that are the, the, the difficult ones. Right? Yes. Are the ones that you put more attention, you pay more attention to. But if something is too easy, it's like, nah. Yeah. It is more difficult, you go like paying more attention to the details and to the exercise in general so you can find it easily. How was it? Did you get it? No, I am in the second one. I am. Uh, trying to to correct all the sentences mm -hmm. check that you have a whole you have a sentence then you have a period then the contract the, the the transition then comma and then the other sentence right yes. because the transition what it is doing is joining uh, two sentences we join two sentences together so the purpose is connecting Right? Mm -hmm. Connecting. Connecting the, the, the ideas. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. And the meeting is about what? Which one? This one. The, the meaning. Sí? Yes. The meaning is result. You're using them when you are expressing result or the effect. Remember we were saying in class that you always have a cause and we have an ah. effect, right? For example- uh, So, sorry, uh, I asked you about this meeting with the one by one. Ah, sorry, I heard, <laughs> I, I thought the meaning, the meeting. No. This, uh, this is a requirement of the of insafort right so once the once in the course it is necessary that one that you stay for 10 minutes and then if you have any questions you can ask questions uh, oh, okay. if you have any doubts about some topic or comment that's the moment for you to to express uh, okay. uh -huh. uh, yeah that's the that's the purpose of the of the meeting. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. That's why we're saying like not a very long time, right? That's short. And for example, uh, some people have comments or questions, but they don't want to say it like in the middle of the class, of the whole class. Then this is the specific moment for that. Uh, okay. A question about a topic in particular. What about any issue? For example, today that you have question with the platform or with the punctuation. Mm -hmm. this, ah, okay. Uh, the moment for this uh, 10 minutes, right? Ah, okay. The advantage of asking the questions that you may have. Ah, okay, nice. Uh, this is more difficult, this, mm, this topics that we are working in. Yes, it's, I guess this is the the most difficult of all the topics that we have studied. Mm, yeah. Because that's the one of last unit was easy. Just talking about certainty, that was easy. But yeah, yeah. this one is more difficult. And okay. we have different types of transitions, but right now we're talking about three types, purpose, cause, and result, right? In previous courses, we have studied about uh, contrast and addition. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
So we go little by little with them. <laughs> with the yes. Because they have a lot, right? They are many, many. The link that I shared with you, it has more exercises. Okay. So if you click there in the in the area where it says reading, you can have reading exercises or listening exercises. Or if you want to do grammar, you can do it too. In the manual, you have readings, right? And you yeah. have links for videos too. Ah, okay. That's another Good practice. Resource. Yeah. That's okay. another resource that I that you can use. And remember what I was telling you yesterday. It's a month is too much time to stop studying. So you can take advantage of the links I'm sending to you. Take the links out before the group is eliminated because the group ah. is eliminated every certain time, right? Okay. So uh, be sure that you copy the links somewhere you won't lose them, right? So you can go use them in any time you want to practice because okay. in, in a couple of weeks or in a couple of days after we have finished the course, the group is eliminated. Okay. So it's I, not like I, I, feel, I will leave it there. No, because the group will be eliminated. No. I feel that I need to learn more vocabulary to, to yeah. be fluent, to have a fluency conversation. Yeah. But it, one way of learning vocabulary could be watching videos, right? You can go to YouTube also to, to talk about, to check. If you type vocabulary related to business, you will find there are lots of vocabulary, right? So okay. and you can go practice a little bit more. Yeah, because definitely it is very important. And make notes of vocabulary we're studying in class, right? That sometimes I know, sometimes it is new for you. Mm -hmm. That's true. Yeah. Okay, teacher. Thanks. Okay. Thanks a lot. Welcome. Well, have a nice weekend. Thank you very much. I'll see you Monday. Okay, see you, teacher. Have a nice weekend. Bye -bye. Thank you. You too. Bye. Take care. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.